What's up guys, this is Only Ninja One, a bit as a superhero, I'm bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel, and this is part four of doing the combo that you saw at the beginning of this video. Now, I'm holding two swords, I'm not actually going to use two swords, I just want to tell you these are two swords, one from Sentry and one from Cochran's. This is a tricking sword, and this is a training and cutting sword if you choose to sharpen it. Now, they're both great swords, and if you want to know more about them, check out the links at the end of the video to the reviews for each of these weapons. And if you just want to, you know, buy them without knowing more about them, you just want to get them because you like swords or you know what Cochran's is, you know what Sentry is, then by all means, click the links down below for you guys. I got them there all set for you. But with that said, let's get into the last trick of this combination and putting the combination together for you guys. Alright, so for the last combination, we just did our behind the back catch. We're now going to do our horizontal toss, toss just like that to finish the trick. Now this trick is fairly simple and all it requires is a horizontal or helicopter toss. Now what we're going to do is we're going to practice and learn it in our right hand first just because it's, I feel like most people are right handed and so it's simpler to learn in your right hand and then you're going to practice it in your left hand. So what you're going to do is you're going to slice the sword outward and then pop your wrist going inward to give it a spin like this in front of you. This is called the helicopter spin. You want it to spin like a helicopter blade in front of you. So the blade has to go across and the sword handle has to go in. Now as you do that, a little pop upwards will allow it to spin all the way around before coming down and being too low to grab. So all together it will look something like this out pop up now obviously going slow is a little harder all together at full speed now once you get it on your right hand you're gonna have to get it on your left hand it's gonna come out and in just like this just like that just out and in to get that full helicopter toss the lower you can get it the cooler it will look. Now make sure, depending on how long your sword is, you may have to lean back a little bit so that the blade can pass you without actually cutting. I get 23 inch blades because of this reason. I like doing tricks like this without having to worry about that as much. But if you have a longer blade, there should be no problem. You can just lean back a little bit more. Now once you get it in this trick, I catch it in a reverse grip. And so in order to do that, it has to not only spin but you have to catch it in reverse grip with your hand and your fingers facing up just like that. So one more time going at normal speed because you can't really do this trick. You can't really do tosses in slow motion. You'll toss it and catch it just like that. Putting the whole thing together, you're gonna start with your sword in your sheath just like this with doing the first trick, extending it out. Whoop. Catching out and getting ready to set to do your first combination, your striking combination. You're gonna run through, bang, your striking combination just like before. Now once you get to the end, you're going to pop your sword up and catch it behind your back just like this. Now, once you catch it, you're going to turn towards the front, wrap around once to the side, and this is your wind up. This motion right here is your wind up to do your catch, just like that. And what I found is once you catch it, spinning through is the best way to finish it. It looks the coolest, but you can finish it however you want. But, but one more time, the trick all the way through. And there you go. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. And if you end up doing this trick and learning it yourself, I want you to post it on TikTok or Instagram and tag me so that I can see it. I will do at it. And uh, I love seeing uh, the things you guys make and the videos that you guys tag me in. So 
keep doing it all that you want i love it so much and if you want a little bit more help on getting this trick down maybe there's some details that you want me to to uh go into a little bit more detail then join my discord because i jump on there about at once a day give or take and there's a bunch of other mods that are also martial artists that will be able to help you get this trick and other martial arts techniques that you're trying to learn a lot of them are some of my closest friends and have been training with me since i was a kid so if that interests you definitely check out the links down below to my discord so you can jump in and join in the conversation with us help me get to 50,000 subscribers i'm really close and i would love to get to 50k so until next time my name is dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out